The final thing that I'm going to help you question this week that you may be thinking about the food and drink side of things is that you need to do a particular thing to make progress. It's something I hear on a daily basis. People saying, I need to stop drinking. I need to stop snacking. I need to stop going out. I need to stop socializing. I need to stop eating after a certain time. I need to stop eating carbs. I need to stop eating fast food. I need to stop getting takeout. And all of those are potentially valid methods of making forward progress, losing weight, whatever it may be. But none of them are needed because I could find you someone, probably myself in most of those cases, who has done those things and still made forward progress. They're not things that we need to stop completely. They may not even be things that we need to change at all. We can potentially change something else around it. And I completely get that it seems an obvious thing to do because it's probably going to get us the best results, arguably. But if it's not going to happen because we kind of want to do those things and our life is maybe set up around that to some degree, then it's a pointless thing to set. Saying I need to stop drinking and I'm planning on stop drinking when stopping drinking has never happened before for any consistent level of time is a pointless goal. Could we just instead say I'm going to carry on drinking as I was before and make some other adjustments in what I eat across the 168 hours that will average out and create forward progress? Is it the very best method? No. Would it probably be better if we had less to drink? Probably. But if that happens, that will achieve better results than telling ourselves I need to do X, Y, Z and then not doing it. 